We're live. Hi, Zach. We are. Oh my gosh. Hi, Jenna. It's been forever. I know. It's been a long time since we've been able to get together and have some whiskey and, you know, hang out for a little bit. So this is nice. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. You know, hang it in there. So um, I'm excited to go through some whiskeys today. So we are going to be tasting through a handful of our February outturn, which goes live tomorrow at one o'clock Eastern time. So um, we'll taste through a few of them today. And then at the end, we'll show you the full list. So you kind of have an idea of what's coming out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I guess before we kind of get whiskey in the glass, I haven't poured anything yet. We should say hi to everyone. So Tom R is finally first again. So it's good to see you here. We have John and Bill and Sean and David from a wintry Chicago. I hear it's very, very cold and snowy oh, yeah. for a lot of the country. I so. heard they had about 20 inches of snow yesterday. It's crazy. I'm jealous. I wish it would snow here. I know. Me too. You and I are in like the warmest places yeah. in the country outside of, you know, like Hawaii. So um, we, we don't like get to experience the fun 50 snow. degrees. We're like, oh my God, it's so cold. It's cold here today. I'm in like a fuzzy sweater because it's yeah. cold. <laughs> I've been in a sweater and sweats all day. I mean, I think we're hitting 30s today, but man, these guys, they're getting everything. It's eight here. That's crazy. Yeah. Dang. Anyway, well, I hope everybody is staying warm and yeah. has a, you know, tasty dram in hand. Mm -hmm. Hi, Karen and Conry and Daniel Duggar. Hello, hello. All right. Well, Steve, you can have all. <laughs> no, man, my snow days used to be a lot different than this. <laughs> <laughs> Tom R said we could have all of his snow. Well, pack it up and send it on. Make sure it's overnighted, though, so it doesn't melt. Right. <laughs> so, all right. Well, you want to kind of yeah. get into. Start drinking now. Some of these whiskeys, oh, yeah. It's, warm up. It is five o'clock, East Coast. So it is. It's, yep. You know, you're sitting at two. So yeah. Good afternoon, poor. You can never complain. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see if I can get these open and get them in the glass. <laughs> Brian said hello from Seattle. How we doing, Brian? Hello, I Brian. No, up there. I heard it's more of a. Uh, that's more like a rain town, right? Yeah. yeah. So. We'll have to change that after after this is all over. Yeah, I'm I'm so ready to. I keep like reading the news, and it's like you know we're getting further and further away from, you know, seeing any kind of opportunity to safely get out there again. Yeah, it feels like so. I'm hoping you know we'll have some good news soon. Let's hope we can all get together and drink again. And Paul just pointed out, wishing that uh, we could come back and do real tastings. Yep. We're all wishing yeah. it. Well, hopefully soon we'll be back out there and, you know, have lots of great whiskeys to share with everyone. So, yeah. All right. So you ready? I'm ready. ready? Got my bottle. I got my glass. I got my water. I'm ready. Do you have your straw? No, I got a new one. Remember? You got a new straw? I got a real dropper. Oh, man. <laughs> My straw got bent in the uh, dishwasher, unfortunately. Oh, no. <laughs> Your no. straw is gone. Tragic. You have to. <laughs> Tragic. But <laughs> on to bigger and better things. Yes. Well, let's kick this off and uh, yeah, get, get into it. So, you want to kind of yeah. bring us into the first dram of the day? Let's see. So. Looks like we're starting with a child of nature. I'm going to be looking at, there we are, cask 105.29. Ooh, there we go. Pretty, pretty. Uh, it's an eight-year-old coming out of distillery 105 uh, in a second fill X bourbon barrel. Nice. And it's 63.6%. .6%. Yeah, that's a nice way to warm up. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. That's where Tiger says, good afternoon. Feels like forever since I've gotten to join live. Yes, it does yeah. feel like, you know, it's been a long time since we've all kind of been here getting back into the swing of things. So it's really nice to, you know, be back and hopefully, you know, every month now we'll, we'll be right back here and talking yeah. about our whiskey. So, mm. all right. So what you getting? Mm. 
Oh, it's, it's very floral aromas coming off of it. Yeah. It's, I'm getting an array of colors, so like some purple and whites. Yeah, this almost reminds this. It's very distinctive. There's a very, I just can't place it. I'm getting like light, uh, like a stone fruits, maybe some nectarines. I think I'm a little rusty. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I think my nose is, it's I'm not what it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's nice and light, here. yeah. There's a lot of flavor coming out of this. Yeah, the nose, it's beautiful. The nose is really yeah. just vibrant and fresh. Um, but I'm trying to like pin what that, that like aroma is. I can't, it's almost like a. It's, <sighs> this is the worst. I, uh, I actually saw this one time. I've gone through this so often where my brain is like, I know what it is, but what is it? Yeah. And there's a, a kit out there that's like, 52 or some crazy number of yeah. little things that are full of like pure aroma and it tells you yes. what it is. It's like a testing kit. Yeah. Like, I just need to buy this so I know exactly what I'm smelling because this happens and I'm like, it smells like this, but I don't know what this is. Yeah. I'm like, it, it, it reminds me almost of like, there's like a very earthy undertone to this, but there's a very sweet top tone. Yeah. So it's like, it almost smells like meringue or something like in the woods, like you're eating meringues in the woods, like a wet hmm. wood. Meringues you're, in the woods. That's a, that's a meringues good Meringues in the woods. Yeah, yeah. So like you're, you're hiking and you're like, oh, I need a snack. And so you reach into your you bag pull and pull out a meringue and it's like wet and damp and you're eating this very sweet sugary meringue. There you go. That's it. With that crunch comes, man, we found it out. See? We don't need any kit, Zach. <laughs> I just need to bring Jenna around with me. Jenna, what's this? Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know. I have to like warm up a little, you know, I have to like get the brain working. <laughs> mm. And Bill says those young and sprightlies have been fun to work through, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> yeah. They're, they've been very fun. They're very malt forward yeah. and those have been, you know, a treat to kind of dig through. So, all right, I'm gonna give them this taste. Cheers. Yeah. I have to say, yeah, cheers. This has a very sweet, top tone to it for sure now as it opens mm -hmm. up. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Look at you turn though. I'm getting like, wow. like honeysuckle now. Hmm. I don't know. There's, yeah, it's like a, I feel like with this particular distillery, I know we tasted one a couple of months ago. Um, and I find they have like a very like ointment like quality to them, like in mouthfeel and in like texture. Yeah. I was going to add, yeah. Okay. The viscosity of it is more. Yeah. Like, it's like an, an ointmenty type of texture. Um, that's just really nice. And it really just kind of makes that flavor really stick to your palate. Well, I was just, cause it's still there it's yeah, like, I know. <laughs> stuff around, but it's not like, it's not stuck. It's not bitter or tannic. It's, it's just no. keeping itself around. It, it's hanging out with the, with yeah. a little bit of the alcohol, but it's, it's kind of overriding any unwanted tastes from the alcohol. I guess you would say. This is really nice. Yeah, those earthy tones are coming through a lot more. Um, I'm getting less and less of the sweet and more of the floral and earth. Yeah, yeah. This is this is almost. This reminds me of like a, I don't know, like a summer, spring whiskey. This is like a spring whiskey, like where yeah. it's just it's still like a little cool out, but it's just starting to get warm. It's you could really just sit out and enjoy this. Yeah. And what's the ABV on this again? Uh, sixty-three point six. Wow. <clears throat> nice. Um, and just from the little tidbit on the label, let me see here. <clears throat> yeah, you have to read those. Yeah, in parts shy and simple, in others vivacious, playful, and wonderfully fruity. Ripe, sweet, juicy, and extremely pleasurable sipping whiskey. That's pretty spot yeah. on. Yeah, it is almost like there is a juicy fruit, like bubblegum quality to this. Yeah. It's very faint, but definitely... You get the sweetness on the beginning, and then, like you said, those earthy kind of damp 
like wood notes kind of come in at the back end and really kind of mellow it out. So that's that's a nice, nice. little whiskey. And that's a fun way to start. And if you're kind of curious about that young and sprightly flavor profile, I remember our, when I first started really getting into it, it was just, it just took one. I had one, I think it was a oh, 54 maybe or something like that. And it just, I was just blown away. And I've been a fan of them ever since. So yeah. it only takes one. And this is a good one. This is a really nice, it's not too aggressive on the palate. It's, you know, it's got that sweetness. Sour. It's got, it's yeah. Alcohol. It's, it's, it's very restrained on the alcohol front, mm -hmm. but it's still carrying the weight of a, of a nice higher ABV of cask strength. Absolutely. And the finish is long and it just really kind of sticks <clears throat> to your palate and it's got a great mouthfeel. It's, this is a, yeah, great little whiskey. I just added water too. And those, oh, yeah. fruity, those fruity notes that you were getting on the top note or on the top yeah. palate, they really became creamier. I mean, it's something that it almost added a layer of complexity and, and, and thickness to the to the nose. Yeah, this is, this is it, like one of those reliable whiskeys that you know you can like, you know, sometimes you don't want a whiskey that you have to really think about. Yes. And I don't mean that in a bad way. There are days no. that you just want something like specific and you wanna sit down, not yeah. think, and taste exactly what you want to taste, but know yeah. that it tastes like it. This is, that's a great example of it. Yeah. This is that whiskey. I'm actually getting those florals, those lighter white and purple florals are now turning almost into a greenery kind of thing. More like an aloe oh. or like a lush forest. Yeah. Water definitely opens that up mm -hmm. a lot. And I put very little water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like, I don't know. This is a very, I don't know. Like you, I just I keep imagining like a forest or like a rainforest or some kind of wooded area. <laughs> <laughs> Les is calling me out. He said, was that a real dropper? What happened to your straw? We already talked about the downfall, Les. It died in a... Uh, uh, dishwasher so we've moved on we the bigger and better okay <laughs> i've moved on <laughs> I <have. laughs> uh, yeah i mean oh, i only have five or six drops there's probably still a solid ounce and a half in the glass too so that, that had a massive impact on it yeah yeah that that flavor is like it just keeps going and going and yeah, going very raw was, flavor yeah I'm, very good that was fun wow that was fun yeah wow all right yeah, and just one more time, the eight-year-old child of nature. Young and sprightly space side, second yeah. fill barrel, 90 bucks. Good deal. Well, let's see what tasty snacks we have next. From one of my, I love seeing this number in our outturns. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nose! A smile oh, on my man. face. I took the words right out of Ben's mouth. Oh man! Gosh, I could daydream about this. Wow. Oh. The amount of fruit. Wow. And it's wow, wow. like it's like a strawberries and cream parfait that just smacks you in the face. And That's it's a great so, call. It's like such an obvious thing. It's not like I'm not reaching for this here. I'm not trying to find where this is literally like if we went to McDonald's or something and you took a parfait and threw it in my face, that this would is it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it almost smells like have you ever had the strawberry pocky? You know, like oh little, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is what okay. this reminds me of. I'm gonna have so, to get them now. I had oh, some in should... my hands after you sent it. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it back. Oh. Jesse, regret. hello, Jesse. Um, he, Jesse says, at one point I had 28 bottles of SMWS open. Drank through all of them except the Armagnac. Look forward to opening some stashed SMWS when folks visit this year. Well, that's quite the collection. That's quite the drinking schedule. Yeah, wow. That's impressive. That's well, I hope deal. I'm sure you have some treats stashed away and I hope you enjoy opening them and sharing them with loved ones. 
Daniel asks if this is a 68. No, it's not. Would you like to love, tell everybody what this love is? The 68s does not come into play here. <laughs> Would you like to tell everyone what it is we're gushing on about? Uh, so we are gushing on about some waffle stacking ecstasy. We're looking at Cascus 35.277. Come on, there we go. Is a 14-year-old coming in at a measly 53.7%. This is like my wheelhouse here. Um, and this is actually from a refilled bourbon hogshead. And that's what blows me away is the flavors from this whiskey are almost so reliant on the spirit itself that it the, the barrel just seemed to put the perfect amount of touch on, on the whiskey. And, oh. This nose is absolutely mm. stellar. I haven't even had any to drink yet. I haven't either. I could just keep my nose in this glass all day. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. I really love that. There is like a very vibrant strawberry. Yeah. But like, like you said, like parfait, like strawberry, like syrup or. You, oh, you know, those like ice cream, cream bars you used to get the strawberry. Strawberry shortcake. Yeah, the strawberry good, shortcake. Good humor. Yes. This is it in a glass. It's like melted Whoa. down. Oh. That sounds good right now. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm giving this a taste. Yum. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That, I need a minute. That carried straight over into the palate. That doesn't that is, always happen. That's beautiful. Hmm. It's it. it so it carried the strawberry parfait or the shortcake, whatever we're whatever we're drinking right now, it has it. Um, but it adds like a gosh, like eucalyptus almost, kind of in the background, um, where it's not quite earthy, it's not quite minty, but it's oh wow. Yeah, that is man. Yeah, it's like strawberry ice cream. With like it has that consistency of like homemade whipped cream, you know, like that. Yeah. Or like when you have like a heavy cream, it leaves like mm -hmm. that kind of layer on your palate with yeah, like a fresh mint on top. Yeah, like a little mint leaf. Boop. Yeah, that's really fantastic. Wow. Ooh. And there's almost like a and actually I really like the ABV on this. I like where this sits. Yeah. I mean, this is one of those whiskeys that, you know, is because, you know, sometimes you don't want everything at 60, mm -mm. you know, plus percent. You want to have something in that kind of 50, like you yeah. said, that, that wheelhouse. And this really is is a really just beautiful, really beautiful whiskey. So I, I, I'm, I'm in full agreement with you there. I think if that ABV was any higher, it might have overtaken those small, delicious, you know, fruity notes that we're getting out of it. For um, sure. And into something different, but. Yeah, that's, um, I love that this is like strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. Like really, I mean, I remember we had um one last year that we were both like, oh my gosh, this is like peanut butter and jelly. It's like grape jelly. It oh, was uh, yeah. that 95, right? Adventurous yeah. African safari. Mm -hmm. And a charred red, red wine break. Yeah, that yeah, one yeah. was. That one was really stellar. So um, this kind of fits in that same kind of category with that really just yeah. light strawberry flavor. So yeah, that's that is a fun fun whiskey. With the water, this actually thickens it up. Oh, I guess yeah, I got to try it with water. Mm -hmm. Although I think the AB on this is like perfect. I mean, yeah. this is like the perfect, you know. Perfect little. I think this brings forth. It, it, it almost removes a little bit of the, the sweeter fruit notes and goes again into the more like mellow earthiness. I mean, the nose on this is just. I want a like air freshener that smells like this. <laughs> it smells so good. Amazing. Yeah, that's one of those ones that spits out every like half an hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, what is that? I need that in my it life. It smells so good in here. Oh, it's just 35.277. It's, 
<laughs> yeah, this is really nice. Mm. You know, this ch the water turned this from that uh, the strawberry shortcake ice cream to I don't know if you ever remember those like hard candies where it's like a strawberry. It's it's essentially that ice cream pop in a hard candy like those. Oh my god, I don't remember what it's called, but it, it's essentially just made it like a harder sweetness or versus that like melt in your mouth creaminess. Yeah, I wish I remembered what it was, but. Mm. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. I mean, I'm I'm a massive fan of 35, um, but this is this is a good one. So they just um, they will be getting a new master distiller, or master blender. Um, their current master blender, Kirsty, um, just left, and so there will be somebody new coming in to make some more water over there. Yeah, absolutely. So a bad thing, but. Before we move on, let's see the little notes here. Aromas of waffle stacked with dried banana, sliced apple, and marzipan with notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger, along with star anise. Hmm. I didn't I, I didn't guess any of that, but I can yeah. see the dried banana and the marzipan. I think the thing I can get that's like waffle related is there is on the nose like a very slight maple note like okay. a maple syrup note i'm getting um which if you cut up strawberries and drizzle a little maple syrup on it i do that with fruit sometimes or like blueberries Ooh. or blackberries it's so delicious um that sounds delicious it's very good it's a great little dessert um but i can definitely get that like little maple note huh like just on the nose it's very like tender and light um, but it's definitely there. Maybe it's just because I would like some waffles. <laughs> All right. So those are the first two. So this is, again, 35.277 Waffle Stacking Ecstasy. This is a 14-year space side in a refill hogshead in our sweet, fruity, and mellow flavor profile. So let's see. Jesse, you have the 35.257, the Ode to Joy. That one is absolutely beautiful as well. And that was one that I know we enjoyed quite a bit over here. And Vesper, you've never had a 35. We got to change that. There are some really beautiful 35s that come down the pipeline. And uh, we'll be happy to help you pick out the right one. So feel free to give us a call and we'll be happy to help you out. All right. Well, shall we continue? I can't hear you, Zach. <laughs> if we have to. <laughs> like, where'd you go? <laughs> I was still drinking over here. All right. Well, All I right. guess we'll say goodbye to this for now. And we'll move on here because there is some more exciting stuff coming. Yeah. Shall we <clears throat> head to the Highlands? That sounds marvelous right now. Yeah, I think when you and I always joke about packing our bags and moving to Scotland, it's like either the Highlands or Isla. We're like, yes, gonna just or or you know, Sky. I'm fine going there. That works. Anywhere, oh, really? Yeah, there's, I'll, I'll go just about anywhere. But a little cottage by the sea sounds yeah. really great right about now. Yeah. As long as there's heat, we're good. Oh, see, I. Mm. Oh. Hmm. This one's fun. This is ah. Oh. See breakfast. These are breakfast whiskeys. This is I. I'm. You said it, and now I'm getting it. There, I, I'm getting maple on this one. Ooh, I'm excited for this. This has been another one of those distilleries that was never really on my radar at any time really throughout my journey until I, you know, had them through the society and I've had quite a few now and I think they're, they're really great. So this is, wow. You know those, uh, those Ego waffles, pardon yeah. me, I'm not supposed to say that brand name. Um, you know, those like cinnamon 
like the the French toast sticks that are shaped like waffles. Yeah. This smells like that. Yeah, like I think you could not like a harsh baking spice of cinnamon, but it's more like a sweet. Paul says we would give up our ocean views in warm weather and land in Scotland. Yeah. You two would give up your ocean views and warm weather and land in Scotland. Yes. Give me five minutes to pack. <laughs> Just grab the essentials and I'm I'm good. Yeah. I'm it's so funny. I'm a cold weather person. I like like that cool, mm -hmm. cold, crisp air. Um, and we don't get much of that in Southern California. We don't get barely any of it in Florida. Yeah. We'll get three days of winter a year. <laughs> so I guess it's that, that thing you, you like, you know, you always want what you don't have kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we would get there and then be like, Oh, it's too cold. <laughs> but then we have jackets and fireplaces and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and boots and sweaters and whiskey. And whiskey, whiskey warms you up so quick. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. Well, want to introduce yeah. this third whiskey? Sure. So, I'm guessing a lot of you guys are saying this to the winter weather this week. But uh, this one is called Get Lost. It is cask 59.64. Let's see if my camera wants to help us out here. No, but it's a Highland whiskey. It's 10 years old, coming in at 57.5%. And it is initially in an ex bourbon hogshead before being moved over to a real refill heavy toast medium char hogshead. So I'm a big fan of HTMC casks. Big time. Um, I think it takes the best of a like a fresh recharred bourbon cask and just moves it over and like accentuates what it's already done. Dan oh. Cleric says I'd Uber to the airport with clothes on my back. <laughs> Talking about going to Scotland. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then Matt says, so when are we all going on a society field trip to Scotland? As soon as we are able to get over there and enjoy it safely, yeah. we will be, we will organize a field trip. <laughs> And then Tom R says, one more thing you don't wish you had more of would be Malort. Have you ever had Malort? I'm from Chicago. If you oh, haven't you... had Malort, there's oh, something wrong with you. But I if you want that. more Malort, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> okay. I had the first, actually the first time I ever had Malort was in Scotland. It was the first mm. time I ever had it because one of the bartenders that we were traveling with mm. um, brought it. She was in Chicago and that's where she was from. And so she brought Malort and she's like, you know, everyone's like, oh, it's disgusting. You know, I don't know, you have to, something has to be wrong with you to drink this stuff. You know, it's like this whole thing. And I was like, oh gosh, I'm gonna like taste this and it's gonna be awful. And I didn't mind it. I really like that, like very bitter. Like I love Fernet and, yeah. and vermouths and like, I really like that profile. That's and fair, so, yeah. It was not as bad as I was led to believe it would be. It's, when they put the expectations <laughs> of it being so bad and it's not that bad, it's yeah. so much better than you think. But then so, when you go in without the expectations, you're like, wow, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like if nobody said it to me, like, oh, just taste this. You know, like it's yeah. a it's a Chicago special or whatever. And yeah. I like tasted it. I don't know if my reaction would have been as like <laughs> kind. <laughs> so what are you doing to me? What kind of friend are you? <laughs> oh man, I haven't thought about Malort in a long time. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the whiskey. Let's stop talking about Malort. <laughs> <laughs> this is not Malort. I'll this is not that. Malort. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I love I I'm I'm a fan of this of the whiskeys I've had from this distillery, um, I've been a fan of, I've always thought that they, there's been kind of like a trend and I'll be interested to see if I find that in this yeah. particular one. Um, but I think it's like one of those whiskeys that you could like pour over, like, you know, like, porridge or oatmeal or like, it just pairs well with wonderful that. Some oatmeal with some, some of this, this poured on top. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm actually, I'm getting a lot of nice Oak spice in this with, you know, it's. There's almost like a sandalwoody kind of note. Yeah, I was just going to say it's, oh. 
I'm like, is it? Oh, I'm still getting fruit though. It's it's like um, I'm thinking of like uh, man, like if you climb a palm tree and you're grabbing some like mangoes or coconuts or something, like the coconut. Who does that? Palm. Who doesn't climb palm trees and you know get mangoes? Not me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining that's what it would smell like because you have yeah. like the bark and the that coconut rind that you can like peel off the fur, the fur almost, but it's got that fruity tendency. Yeah, I really like that. I keep just it's like very. I'm getting more of that, just like sandalwood, like kind of like old spice almost kind of note on it. I can get that. Yeah. I definitely skipped ahead and tasted it. And that, as you said it, that spice went through my nasal passage. But not, not old like, spice. No, not in a stinging way, <laughs> but there was a spice that kind of like showed itself, almost like on a retrohale of a cigar or something. Oh. That's. I love that. Mm hmm. That is so juicy on the palate. I mean, I you take balance. a sip of it and your whole mouth waters. Yeah. The balance of the fruitiness and the the cask and the just everything. It just, I mean, it, it just dances on your palate. It's wonderful. That is, I'm this, I'm really into this. That, like the, the, delivery of flavor on your palate. Yeah. Like my mouth is still watering. I'm it still really does. On it. Yeah. yeah. It really does just make your whole palate just water. That is that's awesome. I'm trying to like pin down the flavor now. I'm trying I was just thinking of a fruit. I'm trying to I want to go mango, but I feel like I go mango all the time, and that's because I love mango. It's almost like a like a pineapple that's not sitting in fresh pineapple juice. Like if you were, you know, those like containers that you buy where there's pineapple juice sitting, and then when you bite it, it's like super tart. But not yeah. that. Like more of like a an in between of this and, and dried pineapple, like freeze dried pineapple. I don't know. I'm oh, there's a there's a fruit there though. This is where I need that dang taste, Jenna. What yeah. is this? <laughs> There is definitely like a tart, like the finish is very tart, but yeah, I don't know what maybe that would like be. Like a Granny Smith apple? Yeah, maybe like an- Kind of- Like almost, I don't know, that's kind of almost reminds me of like, like a persimmon with like a little cinnamon on it. Like it's a very, it's not like a typical fruit to me, like an, like an apple orange pear like berry kind of fruit. This is like plummy and okay. You know, Stop. like sometimes when you eat like a plum or like a an apricot. Oh, that's a good okay. That's, that's a good it. the experience of biting into an apricot. Okay. Yes. Wait, George, George just said uh cask 7.222 lip smacking endless joy it was HTMC. I'm literally here smacking my lips, yes. <laughs> bringing joy to me as I drink it. It's crazy. Yeah, this one, this one is really, this one's really beautiful. Um, oh, I want to. Vesper Tiger asked, "Does the society ever do heavy char? We've had a few that have been heavy char, haven't we?" I don't know. That's a good question. I'm trying to think of what I we. I feel like we have. Actually, I don't know. I've got to look back through. It definitely, I that definitely sounds like that's something that we have done. Like, I feel like I've read that in yeah. all of our, our notes. So I got to look into that. We'll find out. Yeah. I love that they're doing it, though, now that they're that, that we're going through new cask types. I think it can bring yeah. so much life into, into single malts. Yeah. Um, but before I go, I just added some water before I taste it. I want to look at these notes. Um, so on the label, we've got a complexity to get lost in. We're lost in it already. Aromas of elderflower, mango, peach, and pear with notes of leather, wood, cinnamon, and vanilla. 
I was close. I told you I wanted to say mango, but there was just something. But hey, they they said it for me. I'll take it. But then peach and pear, like we're right up there with the the apricots. Yeah. Ooh. Was maritime marshmallow a heavy char, Evan? Good question. I'm, investig I'm investigating. Yeah, we're going to investigate right this second. We're going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Different than a rum aged. Rum taste in my whiskey throw me off. Paul, This, if you're talking about this um, specific whiskey, this doesn't remind me of a whiskey that's been aged in a rum cask. This has yeah. more of a, there's, there's not, it's not sweetness forward to me. This is more like char wood forward. Um, with those like really nice like baking spices. I'm getting yeah. like that cinnamon that, mm -hmm. you know. And then there's more of an undertone of the fruit. Yeah. The fruit is there. It's letting you know it's there, but it's not bouncing out um, as like a as like a fruity whiskey by any means. Um, and to answer the question, um, Heaven, that was a, a 10.194 Maritime Marshmallows was a recharred hogshead, but it looks like Brian just brought 133.1. Let's take a look. Was heavy char. And let's see. <laughs> I just want to see what it's what it's titled. I'm very I'm curious. Almost, I'm that. like very I'm positive curious. that. There it is. Virgin if Oak. Brian would know. If char. anyone knows, it's Brian. Yes, there it is. It is. Uh, so the cask is a virgin oak barrel with heavy char. And they... The drinking tip was while watching American gangster movies. Mm. All right, Brian, I need you to send me that like now. <laughs> wonderful. So Vesper, to answer your question, yes. <laughs> the society does do heavy char. <laughs> the version is yes. <laughs> Let me add some water to this. This has exploded with flavors. It, I mean, yeah. in, on the on the bouquet, it's just exploding with juicy fruit, uh, juicy flavors, not juicy fruit. I mean, it yeah. brings the fruit jumps, the wood and the spices kind of take a back seat, but they're still there. Oh, yeah, this is the like the nose leads you to believe it's going to be a little lighter in character, mm -hmm. but. The palette tells you it's yeah. a different story. Yeah, this, is, this is much heavier on the vanilla and the leather. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, there's fruit there. The fruit is reaching. It wants to show, but it's not like, it's not there. It's not jumping out. Wow. This is fun. Yeah. I, I'm, I can't say I've had this much of a, of like a, an attack on my palate in a long time. Yeah, this is a this this is this is a winner. I this love is, that it's neat. It's yummy. It's 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 like ever changing. Yeah, we've had a few of those whiskeys that you know Ben says it all the time. Like on paper, it may just look yeah, yeah. you know, and then you taste it and it's like oh my goodness, this is different. completely different. Yeah. That's um, what that that's what that thirty five did to me. A yeah. refill barrel. Oh, exciting! And <laughs> you're like what? craziness yeah i like these ones that kind of just come in and surprise you so this is definitely one of those for oh. sure i mean there's even a cream that that vanilla is getting almost creamier now it's yeah. it's moving away from like vanilla extract more towards like some homemade vanilla ice cream yeah this is like french vanilla mm. yeah you know the one that's like not it's like that manila folder color mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Yes, we are going to share the entire outturn for the month of February or for the first February outturn. We will share the whole list um, at the end. Um, and so let us get through these next two whiskeys and we'll throw that up there for everybody to look at. So mm, all right. that, water, that water made it stick more too. Not only is it juicy, but now it's oaky and vanilla-y. It, oh my, it's juicy, oaky and vanilla-y. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. that that one's really good. Yeah. I've I've Just been really happy. Look. And I'll say that 57.5%. This is not drinking like it's 57%. No. I mean, I would put this maybe low 50s. It's it's definitely uh it's playing its part and it's doing exactly what it's supposed. I mean, that's that that was just wonderful. Yeah. 
that's that is a a good one. That might if I had to pick a don't play favorites. Know, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> so all right. Well, ready to cruise into the final two. I'm always ready to drink more whiskey. This one, this next one has a fun name. It does. It yeah. does. I'm excited for it. I want to see how it goes. If it tastes anything like the name, I'll be flabbergasted at first, but then I'll be very pleased. I, I would be very excited to have a whiskey that so, <laughs> of this. Just so. to share, the name <laughs> is Prickly Pine Cones and Buttery Scones. So if this tastes like buttery scones, I'm all for it. Done. I've never had or seen a prickly pine cone, but I can only imagine it tastes as good as it smells. Pine cones mm. have like a, those little thorny things on them. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I guess if that would be prickly. Because that would be like a. It definitely hurts. Yeah. <laughs> but they, they have those little. 80.19. And we are going up in ABV. It's 58.9% in a first fill X bourbon hogshead. And this is eight years old in our spicy and dry category. And sorry, what was the ABV on this? 58.9. Uh, nice. I'm, I'm really happy to see a lot of these in that, that yeah. like high 50s, mid to high 50s. Um, it's a nice range, you know? We've yeah. gone everywhere from the first one was what, 60, almost 64% down to 52 back up it's a it's nice to kind of have a little bit of everything yeah i agree i'm happy to see them in the 50s hmm. huh i'm getting more of like a prickly pear than i am a prickly pine. <laughs> yeah i'm not getting like pine no but I'm not getting mm -hmm. fruit either. It's it's such a hard in between. Like, I want to say. I would say it's almost more of a resin. Yeah. Like a like like a. Oh. Resin, dang, that's it. Like a lavender resin. Mm-hmm. But then there's like. There is oh no I'm fruit. digging deep on this. This is like, like it's it's bready, but it's not yeasty. It's not mm -hmm. that young, malty yeasty no. thing at all. And I mean, for an eight-year-old, that's surprising. And normally you would expect some younger malty yeast to come forward, but instead it's it's like a, a full matured baked bread. Yeah, I'm almost getting this. I feel like just on nose alone that I would want to drink this with uh, croissant. That's fair. That's fair. Like a hot buttery croissant. Yes. Like a buttery scone. Yeah. I, would, I would say though it's not the the bread that I'm getting on the nose is not as like light and flaky as a scone or, or, a, or a pastry or, or a croissant. It's a it's more of just like a like a loaf of white bread style of of like like wonder bread. Yeah, like Wonder Bread. It doesn't smell like Wonder Bread, but like that style of bread versus yeah. a light, flaky pastry or like a heavy rye or anything. Oh, I don't know. This is. I think maybe it's because we're maybe we're talking about it, but this is definitely becoming more like buttery bread. It is as as I smell it more and more, the butter is coming forth. But yeah, it's this... it's butter. It's not it's margarine. butter. It's yeah, not. This is... like, thick, fluffy, or light, fluffy margarine. It's like, I just took the butter out of the fridge and I smacked it on the bread and it won't spread. This is like good butter, though. Yeah, this is the good stuff. This is like this is like the $7 butter at the, the grocery store. Need, or no, not, what is it? Uh, what's that What's that Irish butter that, that goes into it? Kerrygold? Yes, Kerrygold. <laughs> it's not as sweet as Kerrygold, but it's like that quality. It's that standard. So this is um, liquid Kerrygold butter <laughs> in our glass. We've gone from Malort <laughs> to uh, Kerrygold butter. All right. Well, I'm going to. Man, we're having a great it's like Thanksgiving. Yeah. I feel like I need a crab leg to dip in this. Oh. <laughs> All right. Stop. I'm going to give it a taste. <laughs> I think I'm just hungry. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry now. We're on whiskey four. <laughs> oh. This is straight up butter. It is. I can't get past it. <laughs> it is butter. It is buttery on the palate. It mm -hmm. is buttery on the nose. But then there's like a butterscotch. I was just thinking like a hardened caramel. Yeah. Like I, and I'm actually going to, I'm not going to agree with the crab leg butter. This is not like melted butter. This is, this is straight. Not on the palate. No, this is straight like hard butter. But man, it's butter. <laughs> it is. This is probably one of the butteriest whiskeys I've I'm, had in quite some time. I'm going to go out on a limb here. This has so much butter and caramel and butterscotch to it that this this is reminiscent of drinking like a, a nice bourbon like a, a yeah like a, like a higher wheat uh mash bill yeah this is but this is like talk about knowing like drinking something that you don't want to think about this is it yeah this We're is listening to that you can sit down if you want something like this this is this is what you want this is what you'll drink that's that's such a great call though on the bourbon, like if mm -hmm. that's kind of more your cup of tea, this is this is a great kind of segue into mm -hmm. cash strength, you know, single malt scotch whiskey. This is yeah. that is spot on, spot on. Ooh, mm -hmm. again, one that is like kind of unassuming on paper, and yeah. then you get it in the glass, and it is totally just totally different. Oh man. Wow. I'm even getting like corn on, on the palate now, like buttered corn on the cob. I mean, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't call it the buttered corn that you get out of the can and you dump it in. It's like, it's yeah. you know, Thanksgiving dinner. You stick the things in the, co the cob, you roll it in the butter and you take a bite. That's what I'm kind of getting here. Yeah. I could see like cornbread. Like this would be really Ooh. good with. That's a like, good. Mm, cornbread. Yes. That's wow. fun. You talk about that, man. I'm just thinking of like cornbread with the butter. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. So imagine like hot cornbread. Cracker melty barrel. butter. Yeah. Melty mm -hmm. butter on top. And then just mm -hmm. a little splash of this on the top. Oh, this is this is wonderful. This gonna... is the most surprising yeah. of the bunch so far. Hands down. This yeah. has this totally is... taken me by surprise. And... This is wow. And I was not expecting this. <laughs> I just want to point out too, these are not neck pours. These are not the first pours coming out that are going to have the strongest, you know, flavors or, or aromas. And then when you get down, it's going to kind of like fizzle out. Like I've opened these in a week ago when I got them just to, just to let them breathe. I poured a little yeah. bit out just so I can kind of get there. Um, this is wow. Um, but the notes on the label, this is the interesting part. Aromas of soft fruits and vanilla scented blossom wafted through Highland pine forests as nuances of ginger and sherbet combined with notes of buttery scones. Huh. Interesting. It's just, but it's so buttery. And yeah. Dan, Dan some... Ducker made a good point. He goes, it's like butterscotch. Get it? Butterscotch. Clever <laughs> <laughs> guy. That's a good one. And yes, I want cornbread too. <laughs> right? Vesper, let's go. Come on. We all yes. want some. <laughs> the cornbread on me. Well, maybe on our, our big field trip to Scotland, our big society field trip to Scotland yes. that we're all going to take, we'll find a great place to Do share in cornbread some cornbread. Thing in, in, uh, in Scotland? I don't know, but I'm curious. I can, yeah, maybe I can find somebody to lend me a kitchen. <laughs> I'll, I'll be happy to whip up some cornbread. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So, yeah, this this is crazy. This has definitely Damn. been the most surprising of of the bunch. Um, not what I was expecting oh. at all, and me a either. really just a really fun whiskey. Yeah, Jason just points out this sounds like an interesting array. I have to say, this is it really is, this is <laughs> such a fantastic like 
generalization of so many different flavors that can go into into the same spirit. This is crazy. Yeah. This is this has been I've been very surprised by these whiskeys. I would like I said I was not expecting you know these at all and they've they've mm -hmm. been a lot of fun. So well say again the 58.9% I'm not getting smacked in the face here. This is not such at a all. Great, great spot for it. I mean, I man. I'm going to add yeah, some water. Are... Ooh. Ooh. Let's see what I'm it does. I'm not adding water because I I really like this just the way it is. I know maybe I should for for science, know, okay? For science. For research, you know, I but I think this is pretty, pretty perfect just the way it is. So I think we need to name a whiskey butterscotch, like butterscotch. Butter space scotch. Yes. So Daniel, well done on that. If anybody's listening, chuck that away. Butterscotch. UK, come on, get on board. Yes. Man, the water brings out a lot more of the butter. It thins out kind of those spices. Um, it tastes like butter a, again. Yeah, this might be a great whiskey to like cook with. Um, I know there are mm. quite a few people who, you know, cook with spirits. Um, this might be one of those whiskeys that's really good to cook with. So let's make some cornbread with this. Yeah. Matt, Matt says that um, he also happens to be a baker. So Matt, let's go. Yes, Our cornbread. Let's let's, let's make this this you know happen. <laughs> Well, if you're in Los Angeles and when we're able to have a tasting again, scotch and cornbread tasting, the first tasting we're going to have, you know, when we're able to do so again. <laughs> mm, wow. This is, this got even more buttery on the palate. Yeah, yeah that, that is, mm. that's a winner. Winner, winner, butter dinner. I'm already on. All right. The last one. Oh, we have one yes, more. Yes, yes. One last time, here we are with our prickly pine cones and buttery scones. 58.9% at eight years old and a first fill ex bourbon hogshead. And now, on to the finale. The final one. We saved it's your favorite for last. Countdown. My favorites. Yes. Mark my words. This is the start of a new beginning. <laughs> it's a green label, and I like it. Man, the nose on this. It's so crazy. We've gone, I feel like we've gone through such a like roller coaster of a journey with this outturn. And then to finish on this, it's like yeah. we've really gone everywhere. And now here we are. We're hitting every single. Yep. In the, the, the Highlands. Or no, in Isla. Oh, We're on no. Isla. We are in on Isla. Isla. <laughs> We're at the cottage. I didn't want to give it away. Camp. Okay. I guess, wow. though, I'll see her now. All right. Well. Fill us in on what is this last whiskey. We are looking at a nine-year-old, 53.354. And please correct me if I'm wrong, but we've been titillated by tentacles. This is at 60% even. Crazy. Nice. Never see that. Refill X bourbon hogshead. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah. When we were talking, we, you and I were talking about this particular whiskey, you know, before mm -hmm. we came on and you had mentioned that this was like when you walk into a seafood restaurant, like that first kind of initial smell that you get. And yep. I think that is, it's really spot on. I'm thinking I'm, I'm just, I've never been there, but this is what I'm imagining happens when you're on Isla and you walk into a seafood restaurant and you open that door and it's like, bam, that's what this is. And you're in like sweater and boots because it's cold. Yeah. You have and that cold like ocean air. On the air. <laughs> and the ocean, you get that saltiness, the brininess. And then the seafood is just like, what's up, boys? This is a seafood restaurant. Oh, yeah, this man. Is, this is one of those whiskeys just on nose alone that you would want to put over your oysters. Like yes. Like drizzle them on your oysters. Who needs lemons? No, you, I want this. I'm going to just dazzle no. this on the, on the oyster. Oh. And you know what's great too is like, it's it's fifty three to a T in terms of the peat. I mean, oh. it, it is. Oopsies. You saw that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's not in your face. You're not getting smacked. Mm -hmm. 
there's no iodine, there's no medicine. Like those tall still necks are coming into play here. And it's really, it's a crisper, cleaner peat. Oh, wow. Very leggy in the glass. That's what I was trying to do is like coat. I like to try to get it to the very like rim of the glass and then see how long it takes to get to the bottom of the glass. I mean, I can, so I you can see it on mine right there. Yeah. And you can see it's just coming down. It's and I super mean, leggy. But with that high ABV, it's creating those slower dripping legs. I mean, it doesn't smell. I mean, I'm literally nothing on my nose is, is thinking alcohol. I could almost mm -hmm. say this is like a 47 to 49% whiskey. For sure. Um, yeah, it's not in any... I'm. I know we've had, you know, a few whiskeys to kind of, you know, wet our palates and to kind of warm up our nose, but this is not smacking, like you said, smacking in the face no. with like mm -hmm. alcohol or like really like brash flavor or aroma. It's, it's a really like warm kind of subtle. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows my love affair with Pete. And this is like, it's up there. This is good. Like I'm almost getting now at this point, like that fresh seafood is kind of wafted off and I'm almost like at a crab bake where the seafood is there, but it's still kind of in, encased in that hard shell and it's not going to come up again until you break it open. Um, like, you know, it's the seafood is kind of like wafted away and it's, it's, it's almost opening it up. I'm getting a little bit more buttery now. Yeah, it's definitely buttery. There is a buttery element to this. Yeah. But there's also, so with Distillery 33, I always find that there is this like industrial kind of yeah. quality to it. Mm -hmm. Like I always think of like, I don't know, like a garage with like cars yeah. and oil and machinery and machines. And yeah. Yeah. And there's definitely a little element of that to this. But you know what's crazy is it's not like it's not overpowering. It's not the first mm -hmm. thing. That comes. Not at all. Um, Connery just asked about the industrial chimney soot that we just released from Fifty Three last month. Um, I would think of that, but on a much lower scale. Like yeah. there, there's some industrial chimney soot, almost maybe like that that kind of realm of flavors, but it's more on the back end where it's 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 an underlying flavor or aroma yeah. that's not exploding in your face. Yeah, this is this is definitely like an approachable and you would think, oh, it's young. Like this is yeah, you know, technically a young Isla whiskey, which, you know, those typically have a tendency to be like very bold and in aroma and and well, I haven't tasted it yet, but this is a very like approachable, almost I don't want to say soft because it's not soft. It's just I guess it smells more mature then maybe you would think a nine-year Isla whiskey would smell. It's true. I mean, the last, I try to think of it, the young Islas, it's a big thing for, oh, it's a big thing for Isla lovers. Um, and we all know Scotch test dummies. You see so much of that five, six, seven-year-old Pete, and it's just explosive. And I don't know if anybody remembers the the 10 dot from last phageal it was like a six-year-old like Abuna? yeah the devil's raining down tar on your palate that's burning <laughs> ashes like this was the most explosive peated whiskey i'd ever tasted this is nowhere near that and it's only a couple years older like they're completely opposite ends of the spectrum i haven't even tasted it yet and you're over there wait, uh, wait, wait i'm like time out time out the palate on this is Totally, totally different. <laughs> what, like, I was like, no, stop talking. <laughs> wow. Then, I'm getting, and I could be, again, I'm still, everybody again knows my love affair with Pete. I'm learning, I'm getting there. This is like a farmer's machinery style. Like I'm getting a little bit of funk, some hay. Tractor. I'm, yeah, I'm getting that tractor kind of stuff in the background. Yes, Brian, but, the make moigne a devil. This is like the, on the nose, this is the complete opposite side of what that was. But it was, this is not focused on the peat. This is focused on a more complex, like all well-rounded whiskey that has peat in it. 
This oh, is explosive wow. on the palate. Wow, that's completely different. This this just made my whole rant go out the door. This so on the nose on this, it's a wow. very like I said, it's like it smells very mature and is subtle. Holy but on the palate, yeah. this is total opposite end. Oh my god. This is incredibly explosive on the palate. Wow. Listen, I have a I have a hockey game tonight. This might find its way into my water bottle. That is insane. This is this is wow. Oh man. This takes a lot to do with a nine year old whiskey and a refill hogshead. This is oh my gosh. Whoa. But I will say that you are getting a lot of that, like shellfish, mm -hmm. like that seafood, like that very oyster. Mm -hmm. oysters and like crab and shrimp. You're definitely getting that profile. It's almost like a, this would pair, because we've been talking about food for the last hour. <laughs> this, would pair, <laughs> this, would pair, this would pair, I think really well with like a chia pino. Okay. Um, because this is just totally up that alley. There's like a, a subtle sweetness, but not oh. like a candied sweetness, like a tomato-y kind of sweetness. That's why it made me think of Chiapino. Like you get that like a little sweetness from the tomato. And then it's just that, you know, belly of the broth, mm -hmm. that like shellfish and seafood. And that is not this what is I based off the nose no this is ha this has to be the most disconnected from nose to palate but it's okay, well, not in a negative sense of, that is this is like so wonderful having two different spectrums in one whiskey on yeah. the nose it's a clean crisp 53 almost to a t on mm -hmm. the palate it's explosive and it's complex but it's it's not heavily i wouldn't say it's heavily peated by any means like i'm not getting smacked in the face with no. peat it's machinery, it's farm, it's funk. It's the sea. Oh, it's yummy. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, well that was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you on nose and palate don't match here. I'm gonna but in a very good way. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what yeah. water does. I'm going to add a little extra to this just to see. All right. Well, while you're doing that, I am going to throw up the full outturn list. Do it. So we can take a look at that. All right. So here is the oh here is the full outturn for oh, the first perfect. half of February. Yes. And I want to say someone asked for it at the beginning, right at the top. You got a four dot two six one. Yes. Right. So that particular whiskey is actually our bottle of the month bottle. So if you are in the bottle of the month club, um, that is, those have been claimed for our members of bottle of the month. If you're interested in signing up for bottle of the month, um, give us a call or send us a, a message and we'll be sure to, you know, fill you in on how exactly that works. Um, so we won't have a large, you know, yeah. allocation of those because a majority of that goes to, um, yeah. members who are in bottle of the month club, but yeah, yeah so, there is a four in there. Yeah. We'll have it. And like she said, the bottle of the month club will always take precedent is, is that's what it's for is it's for our bottle of the month members. So say we have an outturn of 90 of them there, you know, there may only be a handful of those left. Um, so just, if you are looking for it, if you, if you are interested in bottle of the month, um, do give us a call, but that is something that there will, will not be a lot left. So for warnings for tomorrow, but man, there's this is one of those that I'm so glad the tasting we had today essentially it encompasses what our outturn yeah. is tomorrow. There's a little bit of everything that's going to showcase like its spirit first and foremost. But it's oh I'm yeah, so I mean, that that one twelve. I would be interested in giving a taste, and it's nice to see we haven't seen a twelve in a while. I feel like so. That's that's a nice little addition. 
Where's that one? Are you cutting the cake? Ooh, I like cake. Who's cutting me some cake? I could use some. New York but, versus Natty. That's an interesting name. Does that have to do with baseball? That feels like a I don't baseball know. thing. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I've lived in both. Well, I've not lived in New York, but I've lived close and I've lived in Cincinnati. It's a Is interesting. A, yeah. Jason says, interesting to see some 82 showing up. Fan of that distillery. Yeah, those 82s, it's nice to see. It's nice to see numbers that we don't typically see very often. So yeah. we also have another 53, Dr. Real Good. That one's going to be a lightly peated uh, at coming in a, in a year older. Yeah, so I guess a little less peat and an extra year in age. Yeah. I'm going to guess from the name, it might be a little bit more seafood driven or more coastal driven. I don't know. Uh, eat real good. I think fish. Fish. Oh, melt in the mouth biscuits. Stop it. I know. It's all food. It's I'm hungry. No, I'm, I'm starving. <laughs> Jeez, who does this? Who comes up with a, this? A good dinner tonight. Yes. I'm definitely hungry. So, so yeah, this is our um, February our outturn. So this will go live tomorrow at one o'clock Eastern time. So. Um, those of you, you know, who are members, make sure you're logged into your account online. And if you're not a member, feel free to give us a call. It'll be myself or Zach, um, or one of our incredible teammates who answers the phone. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, and again, with bottle of the month club, if you are interested in learning a little bit, a little bit more about that, um, you can find out some information on our website over at smwsa.com, or you can, like I said, give us a call and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Yeah. So, all right. Well, grab your screenshots because I'm going to take this down. And then you get our faces again. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Not screenshot worthy, but you know. <laughs> so, all right. Well, that's that. Man. Well, that was fun. I'm still drinking this last one. Wow. I've been sniffing it since we started. This is. I'm man. proud of you. <laughs> so, all right. Well, again. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, one o'clock Eastern time. That was mm -hmm. fun. So it was. Hopefully, we'll see you guys again in a couple weeks for mid month. Yes. Our actually, so Tom will be on YouTube, I believe, on Wednesday um, mm -hmm. with our yeah. Uh, yeah to kind of bring in Chinese New Year um, with our chapter over in China, which will be a really fun um, and exciting stream. So if um, you're around on Wednesday, be sure to tune into that. And then otherwise, yeah, I think we'll be back for our mid month outturn um, weeks from today. two weeks from today. So again, at any time, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to reach out. We'll be happy to answer, you know, what we can, if we can't find an answer, we'll be sure to hunt one down for you. So this was fun. This was fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Jenna, man. And we got to do this. To Yes, and thank you to everyone who, um, you know, came and hung out and, you know, shared all your great comments with us. We're, we really couldn't do this without our members, and we are most grateful yes. for you all. So thank you. Yes, and we cannot wait to get back out there and taste some whiskey with you all in person. We are dying to get out there, <laughs> I have to tell you. Well, hopefully soon. So in the meantime, we'll be here on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe. And Why not? We'll be here. Yeah. We'll be here. So, all right, guys. Well, have a great Monday. Yeah, it's a Monday. And, have a great uh, Monday night yeah. or afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And we'll talk to many of you tomorrow. Yes. All we'll right. Look forward to it. Call us. If not, order online. One o'clock Eastern. We're here. Yeah. All right. Well, hey. we'll see you later. Cheers, guys. Cheers.